This is Lloyd Tran. I'm the director of the California Institute of Nanotechnology. There is a broad spectrum of applications for nanotechnologies, starting from thermoconducting, for example, ability to make a computer smaller, more intensive with the storage, and more affordable. The application can go into the way people discover new drug for treatment of cancer, for example. Uh, many cancer patients suffering from the side effect of chemotherapy. So if we can have ability to reduce the toxicity, the side effect of the drug to make it more affordable but more efficacy for the patient, that's one of the major applications of nanotechnologies is ability to develop the new pharmaceutical compound or new medical devices that can target exactly and directly to a tumor, for example. Our homeland security use a lot of nanotechnology's ability to detect many unwanted, many toxic, uh, many toxins in the atmosphere by uh, de detect a very simple, very small molecules that float in the air. So the homeland security spend many billion dollars a year to understanding and to detect many uh, major um, toxic uh, nanoparticles in the air. Those are typical applications of nanotechnologies. I must say that in the consumer products, for example, uh, cosmetic industry use a lot of uh, nanomaterials uh, making uh, cosmetic products such as uh, sunscreen. When you make a product in a very small scale level, many metals have a new uh, properties such as uh, titanium dioxide in a bulk phase. It is opaque and white. That's why you cannot use uh, titanium dioxide apply to your skin. But if you make uh, titanium dioxide in a very small particle size, it becomes transparent. That's why uh, the cosmetic products use uh, nanomaterial in sunscreen for uh, those particular purposes. Uh, clothing industry, you can uh, apply some nanomaterial on your clothes to make it um, like uh, non-stained material, or even antimicrobial, antimicrobial applications so that many soldiers where they are fatigued clothing many days without uh, concern about the um, microbial infection of the clothing or the soil aspect of the products. Lloyd Tran, I'm director of the California Institute of Nanotechnology.